this will be the last track on my first White Room um, CD. I just named it White Room CD. Also, it's February the 5th, not February the um, 4th. Um, the White Room CD. Um, and it will have five. That's a, that's a good a numerical. The Hebrew hey of Revelation. Uh, a good uh, word for the number five. Um, and what it means is aha. And it is the word aha that I, I, I want to explore in this, the, the final video. Like, uh, usually the last song on an album is one that goes on for maybe nine minutes and it has solos in the middle and it it doesn't sound like anything that you'd ever hear on the radio just because it's so weird and just about every everything I do is about one of those kind of songs I'll have a whole CD full of songs like that nothing I, I, I can do catchy and poppy and um, or maybe I can't uh, fake it till you make it I guess uh, and that's how a lot of the songs you hear on the radio got on the radio now but this aha moment Let's say you were face to face with God before coming to earth. When you, before you knew what your existence was. And you have just one, 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 one thing to remember. And that is our one goal, maybe. One goal in your timeline is that somewhere you'll remember that moment. And you'll say... Aha! And, and I, I, I think, uh, in metaphors, I sort of had an experience like that. Of, of course, I can't remember anything that happened before I was born. I can take intuition that happened within the context of time, within the context of being born, and maybe I fabricated it up from... <laughs> I did cuckoo. Fabricated it up, um, or conjured it up, from a dream I had or uh, from connecting assimilations that I think a memory actually happened and uh, it, it never really did but it, it's a good one and uh, we'll take today February 5th of the awesome 2011 that I said aha that you get to all, all these moments in succession and it's, oh, this drags on, this drags on, this drags on. And then finally you can say, aha. And this is a good day to say, aha. Day of the orange juice fiasco. I was sitting down. I got pizza. Oh, it was such a carrot, you know, all morning. I wanted orange juice with my pizza. And my mom would say, no, no, don't drink orange juice. Don't drink orange juice. And it was just this big orange juice fiasco. And it was a bad situation for me, stressful. Just sort of, okay, I drink orange juice with my pizza. Get over it. But it, it led me into a memory of this whole day. And that way, I always remember the day that I said, aha, was the day of the great orange juice fiasco.